welcome back to another video live from the kitchen hello what are we cooking uh i forgot like this stuff mushroom mushroom and chicken right yeah we're cooking chicken mushrooms oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> different different order chicken mushrooms and um, our favorite i'd say goat food goat food yeah, yeah. we cook it every week probably twice so yeah it's like basically it's our favorite dish, a lot of steamed vegetables yeah. and uh well you'll see it's our favorite side so as you can see someone got a haircut and a beard cut so yeah she looks good <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah so let's let's get to cooking you will be seeing a cuter person that has a nice haircut so let's get right into it let's see so what did we get in here so we are starting off with uh shallow frying the chicken mm, where is our chicken by the way it's over there I'll oh show it you ran guys. away <laughs> well it's a late chicken again mm. so with shallow frying what you do you put oil it's not as much as deep frying and it's not as little as gosh frying normal frying i mm -hmm. think that's the word so i put this and i'm going to put my chicken oh here's chicken it came back mm -hmm. I'm going to put it here to cook. Mm. It's working. This thing mm. has been here for a while. Yeah. But it good, doesn't good run out. Good testimony to. Kafo uh, for the first thing. Yeah. But it doesn't run out. Well, I'm sure it will run out at some point. Oh, it's been here for a while. I'm not saying it runs out. So I'm going to wait for it for the oil to heat up. Mm -hmm. After I fry my chicken, I'll be prepping the mushrooms. Oh. Mushrooms, yeah. Yeah, bell mushrooms. I have white ones today. Mm -hmm. And this is our side for today. Oh, that's the goat food part of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also some onions, I'm assuming. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay, someone is hiding. <laughs> Guess we need to preface. Ah, can't reach these things. Uh, some people don't like mushrooms, right? Especially in Kenya. But uh, I kind of didn't like mushrooms myself. I think these are, if someone will let me show. Yeah, uh, these are portobello, I think. Don't remember the name. Uh, yeah, they're kind of like nice, but I wasn't a big fan of mushrooms. But since someone started cooking them in her uh, special sauce and kind of feels nice. Yeah, I think with mushrooms, it depends on how you cook them. If you cook them badly, mm -hmm. my Kenyan people, it's like omena. If you, well, I'm not... It's not omena, it's omen. It's a bad, bad omen when you no, cook mushrooms. No, those small fish that we see at Kafo that you oh, eat, even yeah, the eyes. Oh, yeah, great, like smelt, the you know. smelly ones. Basically, you use them for bait pretty much anywhere else, but your people evidently eat them. People are going to curse you in this comment section. What oh, did you sure. say? You need to apologize. People eat omena and they like them. Anyways, um, as I'm saying, uh -huh. mushrooms are like omena. If you cook them badly, you're going to hate yourself and hate everything about yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, that's what I did. I didn't like mushrooms. Uh, pretty much kind of like omena. So, mm. uh, but yeah, someone can cook them really well. So we can try to show you how it's done. And... He has gathered enough mental strength for my cooking, for my mushroom yeah, cooking. Yeah, so we got the strength. It's going. Like, mm. So we're ready. Back, back to cooking okay what's happening here ah uh, that oil is heating up and i think it's almost ready mm -hmm. and so so what are you looking for this utensil see how okay. messy this place is okay well we're not going to show it oh, thanks thanks for sparing me otherwise people would have been mean to me anyway oh so, so you have to deep fry it uh, it's not like deep frying the it's I'd call it shallow because shallow it's, frying, okay. Yeah, it's not a Whoa. Be careful guys. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be standing there. Interesting. I've never seen anything like this before. Like what? Like what you just did. If I was standing next to it, I'd be like cussing right now for sure. 
<laughs> you have to be careful when you're dealing with oil. Yeah. So you let it cook just slowly until it browns. Mm -hmm. And as it cooks, okay, this stove is yeah, it's not the best. Very annoying. Yeah. So you just try to like what just reduce the heat a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to to speed it up. I mm -hmm. don't want to. Okay, you need you need a lid or is it? No. Oh, it doesn't need a lid. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. So as we do that, on mm -hmm. that side, I'll prep up these mushrooms. I cleaned everything before. Oh, you had you washed them before. Yeah. So yeah, you probably saw these in the store. Mm. I think portobello is the name, but maybe the bell mushroom. There's a lot of bell things. There's like a bell peppers. Yeah. Okay. Well. So I'll cut up my uh, the rest of the stuff, and I'm going to start with the mushrooms. So how do you cut them? Like this. Just big, like, that, it doesn't matter the shape because mushrooms are like spinach, they shrink mm -hmm. a lot. Oh, okay. And also, like I said in the previous video, mm -hmm. we don't have a baby, so no one is going to choke from big chunks of mushrooms oh. in this house. So. You mean your boyfriend is not a baby? It's a big baby. Big baby. Mm. Oh. Okay, well, so you chop, chop, cut, cut all of them up, right? Yeah. Kind of like relatively large chunks. Mm, they're going to reduce you, let's see. Okay. Okay, some commentaries from the big baby uh, <laughs> question. Now, is it possible to use some other mushrooms besides these ones? Yeah, I want to use the brown mushrooms. I don't know the names. Brown, but they're kind of similar, right? They're kind of similar portobellum type. Yeah, I think it's... It still tastes good, so okay. don't mind. For, for, for people that like picking mushrooms in the woods, would you like recommend? Or? I've never eaten those wild mushrooms. Okay, well, you're lucky. <laughs> so, yeah, don't, don't try that. But, <laughs> well, uh, it's because my parents always yeah. eat Yeah, well, mushrooms, mushrooms are kind of dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So, obviously, if you get them at the, in the store, that's yeah. safe. But uh, otherwise, yeah, you're on your own. Yeah, do you guys eat mushrooms? Yeah. Tell us in the comment section, do you like mushrooms or are you still stereotyping them? I know like my mom used to stereotype mushrooms. Oh, I, I'm well, okay, I like I like what you're doing, but I'm still kind of like hesitant, you know, if somebody tells me like, oh, here's like some mushrooms in your salad, and I'd be like, eh, you know, not, not really, but... Did you eat a lot of mushrooms growing yeah, up? Yeah, my parents were kind of like a mushroom picker, so mm. I, yeah, I ate so much of that crap, so I'm like, uh, well, thank you. Dealing with trauma, my Ugandan Well, okay, no, not trauma, me. but you know, uh, I was, I had definitely had some misconception about mushrooms, or uh -huh. like not misconception, bad experience, I guess, but uh, we'll see how they turn out. Okay. Okay, thank you for the, for the song. Okay, this one is the result, right? So they're yeah, kind of like, them off. they're kind of like, you know, I don't know, okay, focus, here you go. So. And the chicken is still cooking. Okay, so the chicken I, is chickening, okay. I'll give it a time. Also, you have to turn it, obviously, right? Mm. And what we're seeing is basically oil and juices from the chicken, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you It said, would be best if you use fillet oh it has some bones in there it huh? has some bones and what happened is usually when i'm cooking this chicken i use fillet mm -hmm. but today the guy didn't have chicken fillet and oh the butcher yeah and i couldn't give up my chicken chicken eating endeavor so mm. okay chicken. well we'll live yeah so sure. the place where we live it's not easy to find <laughs> to find a good butcher yeah so uh, far we have a couple department stores i guess you would call them right yeah <laughs> what they're pretty sure. they're pretty bad they have like you go in into the meat section and it smells like something died in there if you're watching this and you work for neighbors please oh yeah or even kapoor remember like <laughs> yeah we I just want to find out whether it's me, but sometimes you walk into the... Kafa was good. Mm -hmm. But then, you start walking to some of those places sometimes, the smell is too bad. And then with our experience, if you watched the other cooking video of buying rotten meat, 
we gave up the supermarkets. Now we go to another different guy. He's quite pricey. He's yeah. expensive. And also sometimes... Yeah, it's so difficult to find a good butcher in uh, Nairobi. If you know anyone, recommend us, uh, him for, or her for us for Maybe sure. Maybe in our area. Cause we're yeah, I don't know. How do you buy? Do you buy online or do you buy, you know, is it possible? Anyway. Yeah, if you've ever bought meat from Jumia Food Global, yeah. just throw me, tell us. How yeah. was the experience? We, we might try. We might try yeah, sure. It. it would be very convenient. But so know. far, we are suffering. We are getting <laughs> meat from miles and miles away, especially pork. Yeah. And also, if it's chicken, like the one I have right now, I didn't have a choice. Yeah, she asked the guy to cut it in, into smaller pieces, and he kind of like ignored it and just that like yeah, big giant, just big so. giant. So anyway, that's the from the you know from my Facebook didn't save kind of like you know category so back to cooking okay okay so where we're at yeah in the kitchen mm -hmm. so you're trying to cut up carrots i'm assuming yeah and oh, oh baby i'm cutting big pieces today too sorry mm -hmm. so how's the chicken doing Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so you cut up your carrots pretty much, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're fairly large chunks. Yeah. Guy. Hey, 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 more than Mm-hmm. Thank you, I want to stay. No. No. Can't cook us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we... So that's pretty much our side dish, right, for the chicken? Yeah. You know, in Kenya, side dish means side chick. Well, we won't have any side chicks today. It's just, <laughs> a, just a side dish. <laughs> so uh, we have a main chick and, and a side dish. Well, yeah, that's a main chick. Okay. No, this, this one is a main chick. This one is chicken, and that's the side dish. Oh, goodness. So, okay, well, we'll check on you a little bit later. Wow, that looks nice brown so the chicken is brown and we are going to mushroom it okay you guys are ready for mushrooming wing yes we are ready for mushrooming so you you take the chicken out right out of the oil okay hang on let's take a let's take a close okay let's take a closer look see i don't like these bones but i mm. didn't have other ways yeah, well, it would take like a lot of work, right, to debone it. Mm. So, yeah. Interesting. So, you remove all the chicken. Yeah. Yes, you have to. Yeah, drop on. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the recipe. You have okay. to be careful with the oil because it's hot. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of common sense. But yeah, don't be very vigorous with removing it because if this oil splashes on you... Yeah, you'll definitely remember that. <laughs> that will be the end of you cooking chicken mushrooms. Okay. So I'm going to use the same pan to mushroom my chicken. So I'm going to empty out the oil because I don't need all of it. I just need a little bit of it. To fry, I definitely put more than I needed, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, because you're going to add cooking cream, be very careful with oil. Don't put a lot of it because it's going to give you that yucky feeling. Mm -hmm. mm, I like your chicken. Thank you. So. Okay, that's never ending blue lighter. And no, that lighter has been here for more than five months, six mm -hmm. months. Yeah, yes. it's a good one. Testimony to big. Mm -hmm. My onion. Signature onions, huh? Mm -hmm. You always put onions into stuff that you're frying. It's when you fry, then you have to fry with onions. Okay. Guys, this is the effect of being an only child that never cooked anything. He doesn't feel we have to add onions. 
someone switched from cooking to S and M. And um, yeah, I'm sure the editors will remove it. But anyway, so uh, the the chicken is out, and she's frying onions. So um, yeah, what else are you doing there? Just frying onions, and I'll add my mushrooms. And then after adding my mushrooms, I'll show you step by step. Okay, so we'll wait. So what's happening here? Oh my goodness, someone stealing. is stealing me. Drowning of onions. So how's the chicken? Edible? Yeah, but it has to wait for the final process. Okay. Okay, so um, evidently there's another step. You're still prepping the side. Oh, the side dish? Mm -hmm. The goat food. Yeah. The reason we call it goat food is because it's like a lot of, you know, vegetables, yeah. green stuff. I'm okay, not sure if goats eat this stuff, but kind of like felt like they do. So okay. why why are you cutting the stems stems off of those things? Because um, I'm a Nairobi goat. <laughs> you are so Nairobi goats. Don't eat I'm them, a huh? city goat. Mm. <laughs> okay, jokes. These things are tough. Mm. Yeah. I think it would be hard to cook them. I've never tried cooking them, but I think they should be removed. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe some people don't. Okay. Okay, it seems like onions are burning. Yeah, we burn the onions. Okay, jokes. You just have to... That's how it's supposed to be? No, they're browning. Okay, a little, little bit over browned. Yeah, they okay. are blacking. <laughs> Blacked out. Ooh. Add your mushrooms. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then let them cook for a minute. Okay. And you need a lid, right? Mm -hmm. For this one. Okay. Reduce the heat a little bit. Yeah, I don't want them to black. Okay. To blacken. Okay, now the fun part. <laughs> okay, not that. Um, so, cutting the onion, that's when we start crying. Well, it depends on how well you wash your onion. Oh, so you have to like scold it or wash it? or? If you wash it well, you shouldn't be crying. Okay. In my opinion, I hope I won't start crying and then you guys will do it. You didn't wash it well. Okay, well, trust you. So you cut into relatively larger chunks, right? Yeah, me, I don't have time to keep cutting small pieces. Okay. But that's, hold on, you already have onions in here, right? So it's like... This is for the good food. Oh, for, for, for this stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry for pointing fingers. Yeah, for this stuff. Oh, you also cut, um, what are these things? Oops. Why are you stealing my food? No, I mean, that's, uh, those are bell peppers, right? Yeah. Hmm, okay. So you pre-cut them? I, yeah, I cut them. Uh, so, mm -hmm. my mushrooms are brown. Okay. Oh, they are. Ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, wine time. Wine time. Okay, we are running. We are running. Okay, it should be white wine. We are running out. Yeah, they're kind of low. This whole bottle, we never drank it. We used it to cook mushrooms. So you can imagine how many times we cooked oh, mushrooms. Let me see. What is it? Natural what? Sweet wine. Okay. White wine. I'm okay. going to pour it. Because it's just a little bit that's remaining. Basically, mm -hmm. it should be one glass of half. Party time. <laughs> And why why do you why do you add wine to it? So it's it tasty. Just for taste? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so you uh, add your mushrooms, uh, wine to the mushroom and then let it cook. How much do you add? Normally I'd put like three quarters of a glass. Oh wow, okay, but, but we didn't today, have it that much. 
Oh, we just sorry. Said okay, no more wine today. Yeah. Okay, sorry for cousins. Can you imagine we've cooked mushrooms this much time? Yeah. When did we buy it? Ah, oh, some time ago. Like in Jan? Yeah, hard to tell, but you know, okay. no partying, just mushroom cooking. <laughs> okay, so what did we get here? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you got some spices, right? Yeah, uh, today I'm going slow on the spices. I'm using this, Kinder's. I got it from the boyfriend. It's wood fired garlic. This one is really tasty. I'm using black pepper, my nose poison. Mm -hmm. And I'm using this chicken thing. I don't know, chicken cubes. Chicken cubes. I think this is Kenyan. Mm -hmm. And with mushrooms, cooking cream. Cooking cream. Mm -hmm. You add it after the after the um, wine has evaporated. Oh. And guys, be be aware that there is cooking cream and there is whipping cream. It's different. The whipping. Oh yeah, cream. it is different. Yeah, whipping yeah. cream is sweet, and this one is. This not. is not sweetened. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. If you're cooking mushrooms, cooking it's plain. Okay. So I'm going to pour it out. So how much? Just the whole glass. Your mama Africa should tell you, guy, how much you're supposed to add. Is it supposed to be like that? Well, evidently our cooking cream is not up to par. Now what happened to it? Why are we crying? This cooking cream is rotten or whatever it is. It went bad. Mm -hmm. I can see two... Two layers. Mm -hmm. Stratified. Now, my question is, because now this is the second time something like this is happening. What makes something that was in the fridge and it's supposed to expire in 2023 expire in a month's time it's a product of kafur yeah to be honest at this point i don't trust you kafur yeah don't so. trust anything from them okay well do we have anything to replace it with yeah i think i'm going to add normal milk but i'm not happy okay. that's the point I'm what's the good place to buy cooking cream at you know uh so far i don't think i yeah pretty much you have to be careful in kenya <laughs> to be honest I am missing the Nakumat days. If you guys, you know, Kenyan, my Kenyan people, you guys know, when Nakumat was there and Tuskies mm -hmm. and all those people, I feel like supermarkets had enough competition and the competition and they used to have better things. Mm -hmm. And also like in terms, you know like how sometimes you go to the supermarket and you have to sort of pack yourself out. Like sure, they yeah. check you out, they don't they do this no but they don't anymore. pack for you. I feel like that's bad customer service. Yeah. So I feel like when there was more competition, when there was Tuskies, there I'm was sure, yeah, competition creates, Nakumat, competition creates like better well, service. It's so for right now it's just Kafo and Neighbors, yeah. like the main store, uh, yeah, and there's Quickmart. Just yeah, you can't really trust expiration dates. If something is expiring, you definitely need to throw it out, even yeah. before. Yeah. So. Mm. Okay, so what are we doing instead? Just oh, milk? my wine is evaporated, so I'm adding milk. So you clearly. Yeah. My cooking cream is just. It didn't, it didn't nasty. work. Yeah, so we'll have to get it. Yeah. I'll use so. normal milk. Yeah, usually you would put cooking cream. Yeah, there, like right? a glass of it. So okay. Yeah. And I'm going to and these add mysterious process. objects. So what is it? <laughs> chicken Ooh, cubes. It's something in a tin foil. Yeah, cubes. So what's in that chicken cube? Chicken. Chicken eggs. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh wow, that looks kind of interesting. It looks like an astronaut food. <laughs> you have to like mush it up and. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Now, what, seriously, what's the purpose? Is it just to add some flavor? Yeah, it's a chicken spice. Okay. It's supposed to be powdery. Well, this one is not. And Consistency of a Play-Doh. Oh, that stopped sizzling pretty quickly. <laughs> so, me okay. and my spices. Yeah, it seems like cooking is not really like an exact science, so you have to play it by ear you know sometimes if you run out of one ingredient or if 
you know, the store sold you a turkey of an ingredient. Um, you just have to go with what you have. It's the kind of thing that's always hard for me, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, you have to improvise because now it's late in the night. There is no way we are going to buy cooking cream. So yeah, so we move. Okay, so now spices, spices time. Yeah, I'm going. How to... much are you adding? Hold on, can you show like one tablespoon mm. of that? Uh, I'm something? going to add some more. This is just wood. Wood. It's no, it's wood fired curry. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's that Kinder brand, which mm. is like nice spices from US. Yeah, and my sneezing thing. Oh, yeah, oh my goodness. Do you need a mask? Too late, I guess. Well, let's go get you a mask. Okay, Dr. Babes is ready, ready for action. <laughs> it's a cool invention, actually, if you are sneezing like someone else here from using black pepper. Well, spices, I guess, yeah. So yeah, there's is... a woman that commented in the last video that said. Yeah, that's very helpful. So. She also gets this reaction from black yeah. pepper. Plus, you won't get COVID. Sure, you can get COVID. Okay, so Dr. Babes is ready. Oh, did you put it already? Yeah, I did put black pepper. Oh, we missed it. So this is how the sauce looks like. It doesn't look as good as it would with... Mm -hmm. Well, it's not a stick, right? Yeah, because cooking cream is usually thick and looks, you know, like cooking cream. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. But this is milk. It, it looks like soup. Some good. Yeah, no, that's okay. We'll live. Looks like I'm going to complain until next year. I need to move on. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's kind of upsetting when you rely on something and then you don't have it. Yeah, I should have probably checked before. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah, it's stratified. I don't know what that stuff is at the bottom. I know, it looks like something they, like some powder that they mixed in the basement somewhere and then put it in a <laughs> carton. Yeah, that's kind of good testimony. This is beyond me, to be honest. Okay, well, thank you, Kafor. <laughs> So, for okay. reading our meal yeah so how long are we supposed to stir it um, until it mama africa knows yeah until the ancestors whisper mm -hmm. mm. okay. anyway <coughs> oh my goodness it is working kind of <laughs> oh sorry looks like the mask didn't help much but yeah so much for covid yeah so you add your chicken into this thing mm -hmm. like this and then... Ooh, okay, that's a nice sauce. And then stir it up, huh? Mm-hmm. Sorry, is it getting through? Can let it seem so that the chicken can get the spice mm -hmm. in. And, yeah. And just like cook a little bit and then it's done, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've tried this one before. Yeah, one of the spices we have here has salt. That's why I haven't added salt. Oh, okay. So yeah, the Kinder one has salt. That's why I did. Oh, okay, so that American one had salt. Mm. Yeah, it's important, I guess, right? In case you, I mean, you, you can easily over-salt it. Yeah, it's important to look at the ingredient. A short story time, before I knew, there are some other cubes called beef cubes. And before I knew they had salt, I used to cook to you to cook beef cubes every time, and my food be, would be over salted. Mm, and, and then you didn't I hear, know. yeah, I hear, especially if you cook like green spinach or something, and then mm -hmm. add it. I hear if they have salt, so it's good to know what the meat is. Oh, okay, sure, so yeah. You don't over salt your... Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. Mm, my chicken looks yummy. Alright, so. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Mm -hmm. So I think we are done with this part of the cooking. Now we're going to the side. Ooh, now this wonderful orange stuff. Yeah. Okay, now part two, the goat food. So the chicken is done. So it would just like what, just keeping it warm, right? Yeah. And now we're switching to uh, goat food. Yeah, I used some of the... Um, some of the oil, right? Some of the oil that I left from the frying with chicken. Mm -hmm. I used it and I'm going to add my onions. Oh, okay. This yeah, let's look closer now. What are you doing? I'm frying those ones, but I'm going to steam them. I won't cook them. I won't overcook them. Oh, the onions? 
No, they're vegetables. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just steaming them. No, nothing. No spicing, no nothing. It's just... But you put some oil in there, right? Yeah. Is it just cooking oil or what kind of oil is it? It's, yeah, cooking oil. The one that I used for deep frying the chicken, the one that was left, I used it to fry this. And I'm mm -hmm. going to cook it for a short time so it won't be overcooked. Okay, so it's basically kind of like s sort of steaming. Okay? Yeah. Not really exactly steaming because you're frying them, but like lightly frying. Sauteed, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sauteed. Okay. That's the name of the mushroom. Okay. Are we adding any of this wonderful stuff? No, I'm putting it away. Oh, okay. Sorry. And here's the chicken. Surgeon babes slash cook. <laughs> So, yeah, the COVID actually gave us, you know, ample tools for something that's not COVID related, like not sneezing. Like, okay, almost not sneezing from, <laughs> from black pepper. Oh, I don't know why I can't sacrifice black pepper. <laughs> so the onions are ready, huh? Mm -hmm. So what are you doing next? Adding carrots first because they take a longer time to cook. Okay, they're harder. Okay. It's not like I'm going to cook them to like mushy carrots. Mm -hmm. It's only like, yeah, it'll take longer than the rest of it. Okay. The rest is just green stuff that's pretty soft. Yeah, but I'm going to like have in this stove for two minutes and then mm -hmm. remove it. Okay. Hey, yummy, yummy, my tummy. So you have to like cover with the lid, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think we discovered something. About our milk, our backfired. Not not the milk, the cooking uh, cream. Cooking cream. Yeah. So after ranting and Yeah, so we read the <laughs> description instructions, instructions finally how, like those terms and conditions that you never read yeah right? how to use the milk carton so, so storage before opening store in a cool dry place between 5 degrees to 20 degrees celsius once opened keep refrigerated between 5 to 10 degrees celsius and consume within two to three days yeah it was this one has been longer. here for about a month yeah so. but still that doesn't rule out the fact that kafo sells so many yeah we, we burned several things. times on, on on their stuff but especially meat yeah so anyway just keep this in mind you can keep that cooking cream for a month in your fridge and think that it will be still good because then you'll get some nasty thing so this is out. a backfired chicken mushroom recipe yeah well we'll see how it tastes with milk okay might be even better you never know okay and then we can chip out with buying milk because <laughs> yeah. cooking cream is more expensive. Is it? Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, it's more expensive. It, if it tastes better, then we go the milk way. Sure, why not? Why not? So what's cooking here? Carrots. And I think they are sauteed enough. Now I add my these. These mm -hmm. are broccoli and bell peppers. Mm -hmm. Wing. Just gonna throw them in there. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't show us how you cut your uh, bell peppers, but it's kind of obvious, right? Yeah, it's you just use your knife. Oh. Or whatever else you use to cut. Well, thanks for clarifying. Yeah? Okay. Mm, that looks pretty colorful. Yeah. The rainbow food. <laughs> you guys, if you continue watching our cooking videos, I'm sure you're going to see this dish with enough times for you to even hate us but yeah it tastes really nice i mean her and i we really like it yes so okay so how long do we saute them a few minutes okay. oh i also discovered that adding this white vinegar to eat gives it what did you tell me that taste is uh zest i don't know whatever he said okay so you just add a little bit of vinegar there mm. Okay, what's a little bit? Listen to your mama Africa again. Especially if you like something that's salty, vinegar mm -hmm. That's the way to go. Okay. And then I'll add some salt. Oh, this one does need some salt, huh? Mm -hmm. I didn't spicy, so... Okay. Yeah. And how much Mother Africa suggests to put? Ooh. That's kind of like a lot. It's 
So there's technically no spices in this one. Yeah, it's plain. It's mm -hmm. plain sauteed vegetables. Mm, okay. I've come to love these vegetables too much. That every time I go to a restaurant and they probably are serving me something and they ask for a side, I'm usually sauteed vegetables. Mm -hmm. Probably at the end of my life, I wouldn't want to see them. But... <laughs> okay. That looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, it seems like someone is consuming the food before it's served. Yeah. So, okay, so is it, uh, is it done? Or? That's the end of our cooking. Okay. So, guys, stick around to see whether cooking cream can be substituted with milk mm -hmm. or if this is a backfired chicken recipe. Okay, so chicken here's the chicken. Recipe. Here's yeah. the goat food. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's see how it looks on the plate. Okay. okay so that's pretty much the end of our cooking escapade <laughs> and uh, so she's serving the food right now it's really simple you just put you know side dish and the chicken on the same plate and uh, right do, do we add anything else no just yeah so kind of like this two plates and now she's gonna add some chicken and uh, and find out for the but five yeah, it's the first time that we tried it with milk, so we'll see if that was uh, yeah, uh, a novel idea or if it's something that we'll never do. Okay. I am trying the first one. I want to start with the chicken because I am curious. Mm -hmm. You like it? I just the same. Really? So we can just, you know, <laughs> skip the cooking cream and just go with the milk? Yeah, it's cheaper. Can I try? You want a chicken piece or a mushroom piece? Oh, well, let, me, let me try chicken. <laughs> Actually, which one did you try? I tried chicken. To be honest with you, it's very hard to tell which one is chicken yeah, and which one is even, mushroom. Yeah. She even... Uh, she even fooled one of her friends that kind of didn't like mushrooms and she came in and She's like, oh, I love your chicken. And she's like, it's not chicken. She's like, what? It was mushroom. Because, I mean, mushroom is kind of like a substrate. Yeah. And it pick, picks up the flavor. So uh, it's kind of deceiving, you know, but it tastes really good. Mm, I like it. What do you think? We can keep going with our milk. I think I like it. Yeah. I uh, really can't tell the difference, to be honest with you. Me too. <laughs> it would be nice to put it like side by side so we can kind of tell, but... Or maybe invite someone. And yeah, you can, you know, torture Someone that has friends. already eaten the cooking cream one. Mm -hmm. So two of my friends oh, and oh, my sister. Okay. And then give them the milk one to tell mm -hmm. us what they think. Okay. Well, I think that will be it, right? So uh, it's very, very nice. I'm kind of hungry. And uh, I think that's enough of uh, YouTube. And now we need to go eat And this eat. Stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Always. Sending good vibes to you. See you next time. Bye-bye.